to it, start taking some of the YouTube, weight uh, off. Starting off of to just so I can work on this 53L. Uh, move around. Uh, first thing I'm going to do shed is, here. Uh, this is you know, let's take the handlebars off. Take the shroud off. Put it on. Uh, it was great. Uh, start getting into you know, it. Start keeps taking it off the, the ground. Off. Brings it up to uh, uh, just so I can working height. Uh, so move around. You know, in my shed here. To my chest. Uh, I can sit, a, sit on the chair and you know work at it at eye level. Uh, it was great. Yeah. Um, so you my know, plan is keeps to it off the ground. Start getting the handles brings off. Brings it up to uh, just make it a little more working height easier to work. You know, not only to work on the tractor, but also to make it a little easier. Sit on a chair and work on you know work at my shed level. Not that big. So my plan is to start getting the handles off. I can help and just make it a little more easier to work. Not only to work on the tractor, but also to make it a little easier. That's what I'm uh, to work on around my shed here. My shed is not that big, so uh, any little bit of room I can help uh, make things easier is is always works well. So that's what I'm working on. So we've got the handle off, so let's get a little closer look on this. Um, seems like in decent shape. You know, differential spins nice. We do have a uh, aluminum Zenith carb. Uh, it's not a cast iron, which seems a little odd for this era, but I could be wrong. Uh, the oil bath spin on, which again, I'll have to talk to you guys and figure out what's original uh, to this era. But um, find out. Definitely have the old style um, lifters and uh, access for the valves. So it's definitely a uh, there. Let me see if there's a port. Yeah, there's a the camshaft is sticking out here. Uh, I don't know if you can see, can't really see it, but I'll have to get another light over here. But uh, if this is sticking out, that means it's basically a five horse. So yep. So it's pretty much what we have. So. So let's switch this around. All right, I got the wheel off. Uh, it's definitely a homemade um, hitch here. I've never seen one like this. It's kind of definitely funky. It's just all L bar. Um, it's kind of a weird hookup over here. Definitely doesn't look original. Uh, it does have a, uh, as you can see, uh, a drain plug. So what I'll be doing is draining the oil and Again, getting everything all cleaned up, clean and functional. All right, cut the two handlebars off and the forward reverse and high-low linkages. Uh, just again to make space. Cut the tires off. Um, so here's what it looks like from this side. It is a Bendix, pretty greasy, but that's 
that's typical of Gravely's. Um, you know, spewing oil and then the dirt sticks to them. But again, differential seems in decent shape. It does have uh, compression. I turn it, hear it snap. So, uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep uh, tearing away at it and breaking it down and again, getting it clean. And then firing up. So my next steps are taking the shroud off, which, uh, you know, you got a couple, couple bolts here, the pulley, and it tips back. I got to get the gas line off as well. And then the whole shroud, this whole shroud, gas tank, and everything comes off. And then I'll free up space to get at the cylinder. So I'll do all the four bolts on the cylinder and then take the cylinder off. Uh, again, and the reason I do that is these bolts in this head are pr pretty rusted and there's no way i'm going to attempt to try to just try to pull these uh this way even tapping them or just trying to get them um trying to get them you know uh pb bl blaster from this side so again what i'll do is i'll take this head off flip it upside down and then go from underneath as you can see here's the bolts right here bolt there they're both over here, so I'll they'll be upside down, so I'll be going in. Oh, the camera died just there, so like I said, I was I'm gonna flip this over so I, these bolts are exposed, so I'll get PB blaster right on them. Then I'll start heating them, heating the, the cylinder, and then slowly removing the head bolts. But that's the plan. So next part is the shroud. Now to take the shroud off. So I've taken the bolts off side bolts are so and then I'm fully it'll loosen up and we'll drop the belt off. Typical gravely grime. Not too surprised there. Get a little closer. But typical. This is all the typically what you see over these older Gravelys. You know, a lot of uh, the thing just you know they're never really tight, so they spew a lot of oil. Oil sticks to the case, and then dust and dirt stick to it. So, all right.